Hello everyone and welcome to the week 7 and 8 update of the Nordic Lavender Smart Carbon 9 update. Moving on to my chili plant, it has developed really nicely and as you can see I'm seeing both flowers and if you look all the way in here we can actually see the first fruit and the first pepper starting to form. Let's see if you can get a clear look of it right there. But it's still, uh, I wouldn't say early, but we're still, well, we're halfway there. We have plenty of flowers and some fruit starting to form. And I must say I'm really impressed. I might grow a lot of peppers and peppers are not that easy to start from seed. Uh, well, easy I say, not easy I say, but uh, it's not so much that it's difficult, but you do have to pay attention to detail, like soil moisture, heat. Uh, there are a lot of different factors that come into play. And this system has just done it all by itself. I've added water, and apart from that, I've done nothing. The plant pot with smart soil has taken care of everything. So this is actually really impressive. I mean, basil, pak choy, lettuce, I mean, we've had plenty of good results with this system, but this pepper plant, is uh, really impressive, I must say. So uh, it will be interesting to follow the development over the next couple of weeks. The basic plants are still doing well, but they're starting to look a bit tired. I have been harvesting a lot of basil, and I've also been taking cuttings to start new plants. And uh, after this video, these plants will be harvested. And I will use the leaves for cooking and I will take the cuttings and start new plants like you can see uh, here where I have some uh, cuttings on the go and if you remember we took some uh, cuttings and planted in soil uh, in the last video and as you can see here they're growing quite well and are starting to grow into new plants so uh, you can definitely grow basil for consumption but also to start new plants for your uh, herb garden. As you may remember, we uh, had a little experiment where we decided to plant arugula or rocket seeds in vermiculite. And as expected, they uh, germinated and sprouted just fine. But then the growth kind of stopped. Um, here we had um, basically three options. We could leave the seeds to or the sprouts to grow in their uh, plant cups or we could add fertilizer or we could move them into a different pot with a new growing medium i didn't really want to add a fertilizer as it could possibly affect the system and how the system is expected to work and i have a chili plant and I have a tomato plant that is yet i mean it's still early in its development so I decided to take uh, one of these plant cups, and you can see the one that I have left here on, uh, on the video. And I left that in place, and about two weeks, ago, two weeks ago, I moved the other identical plant pod into uh, soil. And as you can see here, this is the same, uh, or this is the other plant, I should say. And if we look closer, you can actually see here, uh, let's see if I can, you can see that some of the vermiculite is still showing. But uh, what we learned from this is two things. First of all, uh, the smart garden is a great place to start seeds and to uh, cultivate seedlings. And it absolutely works to move them to another growing medium. Uh, going forward, when I uh, no longer have other plants that I need to take into consideration, I would definitely try to start seeds in vermiculite and then add liquid, uh, liquid fertilizer uh, from my hydroponic systems and then see how far we can take this system. As you can see, my tomato plant has grown well above the fixed height uh, grow light that comes with the Smart Garden 9. And um, it's actually uh, a bit surprising that it's grown so uh, tall. It's now out of reach of the grow light. Uh, I can see buds forming here at the top of the plant, but they are now out of range for the grow light. And uh, I've decided to leave the plant as is. Um, 
I'm not doing anything with the plant apart from the instructions that you get uh, every now and then from the app, uh, the grow lights or the smart garden app. But basically, they don't tell you to do very much than other than to keep water and when you know it's the best time to harvest, what have you. Um, for the record, I'd never add fertilizer to the system. I'm really happy I didn't because I would have definitely have suspected that fertilizer would have leaked into the system uh, through the wick system um, that is at the bottom of each plant cup, but I haven't. Um, I don't really know how this plant is going to develop and it's going to be interesting to see if I actually will see flowers. Uh, I've kept this Smart Garden 9 sat in one and the same place in our kitchen um, since I started. Um, one theory is that it's now summertime and there's a lot of natural light and maybe that's what has to spur this plant on. Um, but again, it's in our kitchen and there's not that much natural light. But uh, we'll have to see, so stay tuned. But uh, for sure, the plant is growing and it looks very healthy. But uh, not quite sure what will uh, happen. So uh, stay tuned. Two weeks ago, we also planted a new plant pod with uh, Pak Choi. And as you can see here, it's, it's growing well. Uh, we also planted two pods of lavender. You can see one here and the other one on the other side of the chili plant back there. And uh, it's also doing well. So nothing really to report there. Uh, the seeds have sprouted for both the lavender and the pak choy and I have uh, removed the germination cups uh, as soon as the seedlings were large enough to touch the top of the, the dome. If you found this video uh, interesting, helpful or maybe entertaining then uh, please uh, consider to press like and maybe even subscribing to the channel. We do uh, other videos as well, apart from the Smart Garden videos. So uh, please check us out and uh, don't forget to visit us at nordiclavender.com. So uh, see you back here soon. Bye for now.